the thousands in attendance and millions watching around the world, please welcome your host, the one and only Big Blue Jabroni! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Big Blue Jabroni here. And it is Eagles week. Bring on Philadelphia. This Thursday, Thanksgiving comes early. I'm already starting to smell some cooked birds. Uh, we have two teams and two franchises going in two opposite directions, I see. Uh, or what I see anyway. Uh, the Giants every week do seem to be improving a little bit. Take out that Niners game where they absolutely crap the bed. Uh, other than that, I feel like they've played much better football this year than they have in the past. Where if you look at the other side of the table, the Eagles have been playing their worst football. I understand that they made it close with Baltimore, uh, but they were really blown out, and that was a game that they shouldn't even have been in at certain points. Um, so I'm excited to see, especially that Philly is really beat up going into this game. No Zach Ertz, a guy who's absolutely killed us. No Miles Sanders, a guy who's had some big games against us as well. Uh, so it's going to be the Zach Ertz, or the Carson Wentz show again, him and a bunch of uh, practice squad guys it looks like. But it does look like he's going to get some of his weapons back. Uh, Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson might come back, but I'm not too worried about them strictly because I think we're going to win this game. I think... We've played them really tough every single year and couldn't go over the hump. And I hope these guys still have the taste of that Cowboys game in their mouth. Um, the division is wide open. I mean, these guys know what the standings are. They understand what is going to be at stake here. And uh, I know with a one-win one, football, one win football team, uh, division races really shouldn't be talked about. But with this NFC least, the Giants are in it. And uh, they're a team that is was supposed to get better throughout the year with the new coaching staff, uh, obviously with the shortened offseason and things like that, where this wasn't going to be, we weren't going to see their best football until much later in the year. Well, we're close to the midway point now, so if they're going to have this shift and they're going to start becoming a winning football team, these are the types of games that uh, we should win, and I believe they are going to. Um, we've done a great job stopping the run. Uh, the defense is still just every week uh, impressing me. I know last week was Washington, and uh, they did have a chance to win the game on basically the last play of the game, but they still held them to a manageable amount of points. It's just this offense uh, really can't get it going, especially in crucial areas when we really need to drive or really need to keep the ball. It seems like we're just punting it back away to the other team and really hoping our defense bails us out, which they did last week, but... I think Daniel Jones is still going to have that get right game. I saw too many flashes of him last year and too many good throws from him for me to just believe that this is all gone. I think Jason Garrett is part of the problem right now. I'm not crazy about the play calling at all. Uh, some of the ones that stood out for me last week, uh, the second and short right after midfield late into the game, I thought we should have taken a shot there and instead we go for another run. And then the one that w drove me up a wall the most was first and five. Uh, around our 40, uh, really just a, an absolute freebie shot to go down the field, and yet, once again, we're not doing that. And when we get into the Renzo, red zone late into the game, the play call is a screen that doesn't work, a run to the right that doesn't work, another run, and then we kick it in. Well, Danny on third down does everything he can to try and get it close, and then you saw he really wanted to go for it, but yet they pulled him off and then took the three points. Uh, I think we're going to have to let this kid go a little bit. We're going to have to see some of the offense needs he needs to be more getting some more say or something into it we got to bring in some of these things that we did with Shermer last year uh not really a lot of separation it doesn't really seem like there's many places for him to even put the ball uh really not doing it and he does have the big run and it's nice but when we drafted him and what we want from him going forward is not a mobile quarterback we want him to sit in the pocket and do the best job he can from there uh, and I think this offensive line now that Joe Judge has shown he does not have any favoritism towards any player. This is fourth overall pick, Andrew Thomas. He shows up late to a Saturday night meeting, uh, has gotten benched. He comes into the game a little bit late, splits some of the snaps. But this kid, Matt Pert, looks like he's going to try and steal the job from right underneath of him and uh, maybe move him to right tackle and then Cam Fleming be the swing tackle. But excited to see what I'm seeing on a lot of fronts. Really, the one thing that has held us back and from a couple of victories has been the quarterback play. And I want to stay on this Daniel Jones hype train, uh, but he's going to have to show me something this Thursday. We got to start beating our rivals. We got to start turning this around. Uh, I think it starts this Thursday. I'm smelling cooked bird in the air. I think Thanksgiving comes early. 
the Giants get the win, and then all of a sudden, everyone's going to jump on the Danny Dam- uh, uh, Danny Dimes bandwagon, and that we're going to win this East. But it only starts with a victory here Thursday, or else all of a sudden, the tank talk starts all again. We're in this division. We're str- getting better every week, and this victory would be huge for us. And then going into Tampa would be give us some extended time to look at them. They would be on a short week because they played the last Sunday night game, but I don't want to look ahead too much. So far, just got to uh, gotta have our focus on the Eagles right here. Uh, an NFC opponent that's going to be looking to win in this division as well. And we'll learn a lot about this team this Thursday. Uh, hope uh, thanks, uh, thanks again for checking out the video. Hope you guys liked it. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I'll see you on the next one, and you'll see me on Thursday. Jabroni out.